Friday means it is indeed Roadie Roundup time as we chat about some of the fun hot topics making the rounds this week. Let's meet our panel once again. <laughs> you met them earlier in the show, but here they are, author and singer Greg Leto. Owner of Buppy Pets, Lauren Ruggiero, Ruggiero, excuse me, I should have known that. And from Hot 106, Nick G is here. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for your help earlier. Oh, no Despite problem. that, thanks for hanging around. Still <laughs> here. Push Still any, here. any of you away. <laughs> but let's get right to it. Some fun topics we would love to get your opinions on. New research shows that the prime age for kids to have their first cell phone is age 12. Now, I want to know, do you agree with that? It seems kind of young to me, and I'd love to know when you got your first one. Lauren, I'll open up with you. So I didn't get my first phone until I was about 18. Okay. No texting, no social media. It was one of those giant phones that the commercial with the monkey with the banana, I think it was like a Motorola, <laughs> but it did nothing for me, and it was just to call my mom when I was going to be late. Sure. And now I think... I mean, 12 makes sense because there's so much out there. Okay. I don't know. I just, I didn't need it back then, but I guess you need it now. Well, the culture has yeah. certainly shifted. How about for you, Nick? I think that's it, too. I, I was in college my freshman year when I got my first cell phone. But, yeah, I was just at Easter with all my little cousins, and everyone's got a phone, and everyone's got an iPad, and everyone's got a MacBook, and everyone's <laughs> got everything. So that's just the way no the things are. No conversation. Yeah. But we're talking to each other next to each other, texting. I will say, though, when families are out at restaurants, the kids are on their devices. They're not causing a ruckus. True, so I true. kind of like that. No, yeah. Greg, you've got little ones. What do you think, buddy? Uh, it's tough, you know, I mean, it, well, I mean, as when they start going to friends' houses and going out without us, you know, I think maybe then <laughs> For they safety, probably so you can have reach something. Them. Yeah, exactly. And maybe like a limited use kind mm -hmm. of a cell phone. How old were you when you got your first one? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got cell phones pretty much when they first came sure. out. Uh, I was in the military, I was in the Navy, and uh, I was probably around 22, and it was a brick phone, basically. <laughs> it was where the earpiece slid up, it was like a giant phone. As, does someone have one right now? Could we bring out the giant yeah, phone? Yeah, <laughs> I should have brought it with me. <laughs> His agent is calling. Well, moving on here, a new study says that listening to music at work makes you more productive and happy. So I want to know what it takes for you guys to kind of beat those springtime blues with the rain which we've had and stay motivated. Now, Nick, you're around music all day. Luckily, <laughs> for everyone out there. But what kind of, if it's not music, or maybe it is, what is it for you that kind of gets you through? Um, it's an interesting question, but I think that back to music, you should listen to my show every day, 2 to 7 <laughs> on Hot 106. But yeah, I think music is a great way to kind of release, especially in the winter when we're indoors all the time. But I'm ready for spring. And to, this week's been so cold, so I, I mean, we just need that warm weather to get here. How about for you, Lauren? Um, well, longer dog walks. To be honest oh, with you. yes. You know, the longer the day, the longer the walk. Right. So I just listening can't wait. to listening to Hot 106 <laughs> while I'm on my walk on yeah. my giant phone. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you tie it all yeah. together right there. But Greg, as a musician, I mean, you've brought so much joy to people's lives through your music. Do you understand the power of this? It probably resonates with you. I do. Yeah. I mean, the most stress I would get is listening to my own music, <laughs> but. Uh, I do make playlists, you know, for that get me into spring and all of that kind of stuff. I, I put the list together. Um, but playing with my kids, you know, outside would be great, you know, to get the house less messy. There you go. <laughs> you know, so I, can, cleaning. I can relate to the, the playlist thing. As I was telling the three of you, it's all about the Barry Manilow for me. So <laughs> whatever it takes to push through and get through when those things. Spring, Barry Manilow. <laughs> yes. 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 And lastly here, you guys, if we can follow that, another survey says that a number of people lie about how their vacations go to impress their friends. Ooh, imagine someone being deceitful on social media. Can you even fathom this? So I want to know, Greg, we'll start with you this time. Do you have the tendency or do you notice people kind of over embellish maybe when they go away or do something I do yeah I mean when I go on vacation I just post it as it is I don't over exaggerate right you know it is what it is you know <laughs> but uh, sure. I don't, yeah I don't uh, I do see that a lot though absolutely Lauren you can do. tell when people are acting like they're having a better time than they are I think oh, totally so transparent and I get very jealous when I see these tropical crazy European vacations and I'm at Disney which I love <laughs> but I definitely just like Greg I post it as it is and you keep it real keep it real mouse ears you know sweaty mess walking around Magic Kingdom <laughs> and so. lastly don't you think I mean vacation is supposed to be relaxing but I think now with social media it's become another job so yeah. right. when's the downtime you're trying to make everyone prove that you're having a good time just have it who cares? You know, we have a green screen right over here. We could put ourselves That's anywhere it. we Let's want. Go. That's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, Greg, Lauren, Nick, a pleasure to have you all here. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much you. for joining us. Always great catching up on a Friday with our Roadie Roundup panel.